Yes, welcome back, you beautiful souls. Health Tuesday is just making so many impressions on everybody this morning, and we're going to carry on doing exactly that. Now, some say that warming up is just as important as the workout itself, right? So we had an incredible opportunity to chat to Alana this morning about that big marathon that's coming up. So we thought, let's prep everybody. Let's get the runners involved. Let's wake them up and take you through an incredible workout and possibly more of a priming session just to incorporate our mobility and get us into that flow. So we brought in Matthew Whitaker. He's one of the physios from... Western Province Physiotherapist. And he's in the studio right now to do exactly that. He's going to take us through a mobility drill for runners who want to avoid injury and have a pain-free experience. Matthew, how are you doing this morning? All good, man. All good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's so good to have you, especially a physio, because, man, there's so many questions that Mzanzi has for you, especially when it comes to pain and how do we reduce that pain. So for runners especially, I'd imagine that there's a specific warm-up that we need to do before we get into the action of things. Why is it important to warm up? 100%. We've obviously got to get the heart rate going. We've got to get the muscles nice and active. And, and it goes without saying, warmed up before we do a okay. high intensity task. So, All right, well, it's cold, it's winter, it's early in the morning. 100%. So let us do that. Let's get warm. Outfit as well. Yeah. Okay. yeah so, so obviously with running, it's more, it's more impact on the lower limb. So we're working on the hips, the knees, and the ankles, and we're focusing right. on those. Okay. So I'm going to give you four, all right? So the first one, hamstrings. Always important to activate yes. the hamstrings, and we, there's a sequence to these, okay? So what we're going to first do is almost like a hamstring walkout, okay? okay? So you're going to bend over, keep your yeah. knee nice and extended. You almost hack your hip like that, and you're going to follow through Ooh, all the way down. The, yeah. I can feel that. The lower <laughs> I go in one. that scoop, the more That's I feel that one. stimulation in that hamstring. Is that 100%. correct? So nice and low, and you nice. want to walk it out almost, because we've got to keep it dynamic, keep it active. Okay? Right. And I notice you've so got a little bit of a what, like dorsiflexion that? on the toe there, keeping a pointer to the sky. 100%. That nice. aids in the hamstring stretch, and Ooh. you get that nice there pain going we through. go. Hello, <laughs> hamstrings. How you doing? Making you work this morning. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Definitely. So, so number one, hamstrings, very important. Okay. That's more of a stretch. Second one, we're bringing in a compound strengthening exercise like a lunge. Brilliant. Lunge, lunge is a squat. Brilliant stuff for any lower limb chain. Incorporates almost every muscle in the, in the lower limb. Quick there. question. Why are we not standing out here doing the stretches like you see in the movies where we're holding it for like 45 seconds? Stretch. Stretch. Yeah, what's, why are we not doing that? So, so huge push towards a more dynamic way of stretching. We want to obviously get full active activation of the muscle yes. through full range of motion. So that's nice. kind of what we're working with right, here. Let's so, keep warming so it up. With okay. a lunge, what we're going to be doing, okay, so you're obviously going to 90-90, nice hip flexor stretch at the back here, glutes activated, quads activated, all that good stuff, okay. What you can also do is on the right side, then when you're alternating, you can bring in some of your upper body, so you rotate a little Ooh, bit. Oh, nice. Okay, and then the left side, then you rotate the left side as well. Okay. So that there. Obviously with running, more dominance on here, but we also need to bring in, warm up the upper body a little yes. bit as well. The third one, brilliant. So your bread and butts is more your lunges and your squats. The third one, we're gonna bring in a sumo squat. Okay. So now we're alternating the planes of movement, and now we're rotating between those, okay? So feet out a little bit, pointed outwards, there you go. And you're gonna go nice, elbows between your hips, and you're gonna go nice and deep. Oh, okay. okay. Almost Deeper like than that, working man. a little Deeper bit. Deeper than that, girl. let's go. Man's <laughs> making me work, yeah, all right. And then we can bring in from the other side, and go as low as you can. Oh, nice. Also feeling a little bit of a stimulation in the groin. There we go. Time, exactly, the groin, uh, the hip adductors, the nice. medial compartment of your thigh, all that good stuff. Beautiful, okay. man. So that's the squat. So we've done three. Last one is a bit of just for your calves, getting your ankles going a bit. Very important yes. for running. Probably the, one of the most important parts for running. And also this is just getting your heart rate up because we need to run. Yes. You know? <laughs> anyway, so these we're going to call these poker hops. So you can put your hands on your hips huh? like this. And you're literally just going to kind of jump on the spot here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pogo up time. Time. Absolutely love it, Matthew. I'm loving the fact that we're getting warm. It almost feels like movement, which is in a sense is like a little bit of a dance at the same time. Hundred percent. And with all this being said, we're protecting the joints by 100%. preventing injury, 100%. getting us warmed up dynamically and not statically. And I think we are all definitely going to be primed for a run after this one, man. Thank you so much, man. That was nice and simple, nice and best, easy. Man. Absolute pleasure you having the studio. I look forward to doing some more work with you because definitely, I know you're going to get the body man. primed up. And for you, Mzanzi, I hope you enjoyed these little movements. Incorporate them in any pre-run activity that you are going to be doing and enjoy the movement that you have been blessed with. <laughs>